Hello everybody and welcome back to Out of Body. In today's video I'm going to be talking about some interesting things that have been found recently at Ernstein and Hazel's. I did do a video previously on Ernstein and Hazel's. I'll link it uh, down below and up in the cards um, if you want to watch that before you watch this one. This one's going to be just a quick video because it's just something that happened uh, to appear on the news, at the local news here, that something kind of eerie was found at this place recently. So when I say recently, not like this year, not last year, but the year before that. <laughs> this happened back in 2019, which I did the video on Ernstine and Hazel's bar back in 2018, and so in 2019 I was going through a lot of things. I was pregnant and having a baby and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't do 31 Days of Halloween, but I had put it on the back burner and I wanted to make a video on it. So basically what happened is Ernestine and Hazel's was going through sort of renovations. They were doing some construction, they were tearing down some walls and kind of rebuilding and just trying to keep the building structural and keep it lasting longer for many years to come. Now, when one team of construction workers was ripping apart this wall, what they found was very unsettling, especially given the fact that this bar is known to be very, very haunted. So they were already probably a little creeped out just being in there, even though it was their job. I'm sure they were a little bit like, oh, you know, something gonna happen. Well, much to their surprise, something did happen. So as these men were tearing apart a section of a wall, something fell out of the wall. That something turned out to be bones. Yes, bones actually fell out of the wall when they were tearing it up. And who knows how long they had been there. Now, obviously when this happened, the men, there was two or three men I think working on the wall. They all kind of like stepped back and then kind of ran away for a second, like freaked out because they knew the history of the building that it was supposed to be haunted. And then all of a sudden they're working on it and these bones fall out. It just, it just adds to it, you know, that, oh my goodness, you know, maybe, maybe the stories are true. Maybe, maybe there's some bodies buried in the walls. Now, what is interesting is that apparently one of the construction workers left the site and either contacted the police or, or something to that effect and ended up probably unintentionally, but starting a rumor that a body was found. When these bones fell out, Yes, it was creepy. Yes, it, it could have been human bones, but they really didn't know for sure if they were human bones. I mean, they could have been some sort of animal. For the most part, everybody was trying to just stay calm and just wait for the bones to be examined to see if they were human or not. Meanwhile, this rumor gets started and of course reporters show up and the police show up. Everybody's kind of talking about how this, there's, there's a body that's been found at Ernestine and Hazel's. So of course, given the history and the, the notoriety, so to speak, of the building being haunted, when people heard that there was a body found there, of course, they swarmed to uh, Ernestine and Hazel's. So a doctor did eventually examine the bones and did determine that the bones were not human, that they were actually cow bones which is still pretty weird, especially given the fact that they were found in the walls. So, I mean, there's a few theories I have. I mean, one of them is kind of like not creepy at all, really just kind of gross, but like, you know, it, it is like a bar slash restaurant. I assume they have some food there. Maybe back in the day at some point, someone was like eating a steak or eating T-bone or something like that. and. There was a hole in the wall and I was just like, uh, you know how some people just throw trash anywhere? Just throw the bones in the wall, I don't know. Probably not what it was, but. An interesting thought that I had though is that maybe it was some sort of like witchcraft or voodoo or something like that. Uh, maybe not, but maybe there was some sort of like spell or some sort of reason why someone put the bones there. Maybe they were part of some sort of ritual and were put in the walls for a reason. And it may not have been anything bad, you know, it may have been like some sort of protection spell. I don't know the meaning behind animal bones or anything like that as far as mystical things go, 
Um, but I just thought this was interesting to bring on my channel, even though it turned out not to be human bones. I almost didn't do it, so I was like, oh, that's going to be a letdown for everybody. But no, I think it's still interesting because it's still pretty weird to find cow bones in the walls. I don't know that they determined how old the bones were or how long they had been there, but given the fact that they were, you know, inside the walls tells me it was probably from a long time ago back when the place was kind of used and abused so to speak back in the day and that's about all i have on the story unfortunately they didn't really update much after that they didn't really say i don't even think they came on the news to say that they were cow bones they just had this big story on the news about oh bones were found bones were found i had to look later online to see that they had updated at the very, very bottom of the story online, said police reported back and said that they were cow bones. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you have any theories as to what that could have been or why they were there? But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below and I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.